In this practice, we'd like to find the direction of the induced EMF when the uh, magnet is approaching to the uh, wires, circular wire of a conductor. So, like this situation. To find the direction of the induced EMF, we apply the Faraday's laws. Faraday's law said the induced EMF in a closed loop equals the negative of the time rate of change of magnetic flux flux through the loop so if we express the equations EMF is equal to minus T magnetic flux over DT. So this is the equation of the Faraday's laws. But first of all, we have to define the magnetic flux. Magnetic flux. The magnetic flux by B we consider some areas and to define the areas we use area vectors area vector is perpendicular areas we consider and the magnitude of area vector is equal to the area then magnetic field is passing so that these areas, this is the magnetic field, the magnetic flux is defined the scalar product of B dot A. This is scalar product. So the result is a scalar quantities. So if you use uh, uh, theta, magnitude of B, magnitude of A, times cosine theta. Theta is the angle between the A and the B. This is the magnetic flux. This is definition of the magnetic flux. Then we'd like to define the direction of EMF. So we consider the vector areas. This is A vectors. Then you can use your light hand. Again, light hand. So sum. And you can use the right hand. So this is the width. You can use the uh, fingers yeah, surrounding the areas and uh, rotating around the surrounding area. This is the direction. Some point to the direction of the A. Then direction of the fingers. Direction of the fingers. This direction. Of the fingers correspond to the positive direction. So right hand rule determine the positive directions of the induced EMF. So this is the direction of the induced EMF. So I explained the Faraday's laws very carefully uh, by introducing a magnetic flux. 
and also direction of the EMF using the light handles, using the direction of the area vectors. Then we'd like to go back to the original questions. Then I'd like to write on the same figures, circular conductors we have. Magnet is N and S. This magnet is approaching to the circular conductors and the magnetic field. Magnetic field. Then we'd like to introduce the direction of the area vectors. We have two choices, so we have to introduce this A, area vector of A. We have two choices, upward or downward. But at this point, we'd like to consider either one is fine. For example, we choose that this is A vector, area vector A directed upward. This is a magnitude, um, a magnetic field vectors. Then, also, this is magnetic field. This is magnetic field. Then A vectors is upward direction, and the B vector is this weight, and the theta, angle of the theta, is more than ninety degrees. So this means if you want to find out the magnetic flux, B dot A. This means B A cosine theta. And the theta is a negative quantity because the uh, angle of the theta is more than 90 degrees. So this means a magnetic flux is negative quantity. Phi sub B is a negative quantity. When the magnet is approaching to the wires, circular wires, magnetic flux, magnitude of the magnetic flux is increasing. So this means this is equal phi sub b. It's itself is a negative quantity. So it's decreasing. So magnitude of the phi sub b is increasing, meaning the Phi sub itself is decreasing. So this means derivative phi sub b with respect to time is a negative quantities because of decreasing. So we can apply the Faraday's laws. Faraday's law said epsilon induced EMF is minus d phi sub b. So you can use this here, the negative times negative becomes positive. So in this EMF is a positive. So what is a positive direction? You can use the right hand rule. Some point to the direction of the area vectors. Then the induced direction of the induced EMF is going to be this direction. You can use a hand side rule. This is the direction of the induced EMF. Okay, this is the answer to this question.